Welcome guys to another episode on the Extra Mile. My name is Alex and welcome to another C63 episode. As promised, um, today we will dive a little bit deeper into the steering wheel. I will explain where you can buy it. Um, I will explain all the buttons and if they work, all the new functions and just go over it in uh, a bit more detail. So here we are, let's just start the car. All right, here we go. So, um, Let's start with these buttons first. I will go a little bit closer. So this is the home button and that takes you to this screen, which is basically your, well, where you start up with anyway. Um, from what I can tell, this button here, the back button, does exactly the same thing. So for example, if I switch to a different menu and I press this button, Oh, maybe it takes it takes you back to the home button, but just step by step. So that's interesting to see. Um, what's really cool is this little guy here. So this is kind of a, a touch sensitive button. So if I swipe to the left, um, you can see that I can swipe through the menus, but I can also swipe up and oh, maybe not in this menu, but in this one, for example, and I can swipe through. Come on. There we go. It's not, I'm not quite used to it apparently, and <laughs> there we go. Uh, but you can use it to swipe to the left or right, like this. Or you can use it to swipe up, if the menu allows it, this one does. So let's try that again, there we go, swiping up, swiping up. So that's pretty cool. But there's even a third function with this little button. So for example, if I... Um, have a message when I deactivate um, the traction control you can just click it so it acts like an well an okay or return key or whatever you want to call it so that's pretty cool that this works um, the home button as I said brings you back to this screen um, here we get to some functions that do not work. The cruise control is usually activated through this dock right here. So these buttons here unfortunately don't do anything. Oh wow, I just noticed that apparently this cancels the mute function. Okay. I don't know why, but apparently that's how it is. Um, this one in the middle down here, you can also use that to scroll through the menus, uh, which is pretty neat. That's basically what I use most of the time because it just feels very nice, very satisfying. And uh, this one you can also use as the OK uh, button, so to speak. So this limiter, the cruise control buttons, they don't really work with their intended function for cruise control, but they do work in a way. And on the right here, we pretty much have more of the same, oh, pickup. And <laughs> it's rare to see one of those here in Germany. So we have the back button, we have the home button, we have another one of these, which is more of the same. Um, we have the volume button, which works as intended. I can go quieter, I can go louder, and I can go mute. So all of that works. Um, this works as well. When I want to um, pick up a call, accept a call, I can just press that and it works. Oh, look at that. It actually, it actually, that's, I didn't even know that. Can I now scroll? Oh, look at that. So if I press the, I want to call someone button, it uh, automatically displays the last numbers that I've called. That's pretty sweet. I didn't even know that. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is. I guess, ah, oh, that's the voice uh, function thingy. I never use that anyway, um, because it usually doesn't really, yeah, exactly, because it usually doesn't work that well. But uh, that's about it about the functions. Um, pretty much everything works on the wheel. Obviously, the, uh, the pedals work, and they feel great, by the way. They have a very satisfying feel and click to them. Very nice. And I have to mention again what a difference it makes to have this wheel in front of you when you drive this car. Um, these are not super cheap. Um, these are depending on how you equip them. Uh, 
uh, between 800 euros and a thousand somewhere in that range that is just for the wheel without the installation of course installation um, isn't that difficult so it shouldn't take that long so uh, but yeah so these are not cheap but um, if I had to do the whole mod journey again this would be one of the first mods uh, that I will get for the car because it does transform the interior in a radical way and it's just it's just beautiful and as, as I've said as I've mentioned in the last video not only is it about the looks and the haptics the feel um, it's also that you can see they're squished in a little bit here at the side so the wheel is ever so slightly smaller in terms of its um, diameter which makes the steering feel ever so slightly more direct which is uh, sorely needed in this car because the stock steering as great as it is in terms of feel it's not that great when it comes to how direct it feels it's very uh, a little bit lazy especially when you compare it to modern sports car or even modern road cars they usually have a very quick steering rack these days so yeah that's about it guys uh, just a quick little run through the steering wheel I love this mod one of the best uh, mods um, that in my opinion I have added to the car and it um, really really is a is a great upgrade uh, for the interior and yeah um, this is it guys I will now continue my drive home I just came from work and I will see you in the next video guys bye bye